Some more chances for some rain. Here's a look outside. Still some cloudy conditions in the Summit City. Temperatures at 77 degrees, 75 into Auburn and 76 into Defiance. So we do have 70s across the board, but as we noted before, still some unsettled weather working across the region. Notice we do have a line of showers and thunder showers pushing across portions of 21 country. Further northward into uh, DeKalb County, we actually have a couple of those showers and storms tracking all the way from Kendallville into Angola. And notice southward into uh, Wabash County, northern portions of that area, seeing uh, some rumbles of thunder and a quick downpour. Not that expecting any severe weather with this, but definitely uh, could see uh, some chances of for some rain. Notice as we go to around 9 o'clock, still some chances for a couple lingering showers. Things should uh, weaken, maybe a couple rumbles of thunder southward as we go into uh, the mid-morning hours. And then eventually by around lunchtime, things finally uh, winding down. Sky staying partly to mostly cloudy for a good portion of the day. Perhaps maybe even could see some limited clearing and maybe the possibility for a couple light showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder, that best chance further north and eastward. But a lot of the night is going to be dry, just maybe a light shower possible. And then Sunday will feature um, mostly sunny skies, maybe a couple clouds into the morning, but still a beautiful day is on tap. Here's a look at those hourly temperatures today, staying into the 70s for a good portion of the day and then eventually rising into the 80s for highs as we're seeing uh, some drier times later in the day. Chances for showers until around noontime and then for tonight 63 degrees, partly cloudy skies, a slight chance for some showers. Winds will be to the west northwest between around uh, 5 to 10. So definitely a mild night is in store. Also uh, for today, those winds will be on the breezier side. Notice out of the uh, west and the uh, southwest as we'll see uh, some warmer air usher into the region. And definitely some breezy winds, so it's going to feel a bit on the uh, humider side today. But as we go into Sunday, notice those winds turning to a northward direction, and that will pull in uh, some cooler air to the region, and it definitely will feel a lot refreshing. Actually, temperatures will be in the 70s on Sunday, and we'll see those northerly winds between around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Taking a look at those future cast rainfall amounts as we go uh, into Saturday, Saturday and Sunday looking to be relatively low, maybe perhaps around a half an inch into Kendallville, that best chance for rain further northward. But uh, not expecting too much in terms of rainfall as we uh, go into the weekend. So that is quite nice. And then further southward, maybe could perhaps see a few hundredths of a tenth of an inch. So it's definitely going to be a rather uh, we're at a rather dry weekend for the most part. We do have some rain chances creeping in as we go later into the week. Wednesday, notice some more chance of rain working Thursday as well as into Friday. Rain will creep back into the region. So we are definitely looking at some drier times Sunday all the way into Tuesday. And that's thanks to some high pressure that will stay over to the region. And then a little more unsettled end of the week Thursday actually is uh, the 4th of July, and that could feature some chances for rain. And on your first alert, extended forecasting in the 70s on Sunday, mostly sunny skies. And we'll see uh, some rather quiet weather Monday and Tuesday. Temperatures into the uh, mid-70s Monday, 85 degrees on Tuesday, partly cloudy. Um, and then we'll see those temperatures into the upper 80s on Wednesday. 80s hanging around for the remainder of the week. And then 4th of July will feature some chances uh, for rain. So definitely, Sam, some cooler weather tomorrow. And then the 80s as we go from Wednesday to Friday. Yeah, it's looking good. I, I hope that most of the rain and storms can stay away for 4th of July just because I know so many people probably have so many fun plans outside. So hopefully that stays away. Yeah, fingers <laughs> crossed, toes crossed, you know, hoping that <laughs> forecast changes, yes. but we'll have to say so. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much, Brian. Coming